Hello, I'm Suresh Chandrasekharan, Executive Vice President at Denota Technologies. Welcome to the Denota video blog. Um, today, I would like to share some ideas and thoughts about how data virtualization in Denodo can be helpful in the exciting new world of edge computing or uh, Internet of Things. So let's start with a little uh, primer. Uh, the idea of Internet of Things is that small devices, whether it's a, a thermostat in this room, a watch that you're wearing, uh, a device in your car, or things like that, all have intelligence and can talk to each other as people and applications talk to each other through the Internet. That's why Internet of Things. In the future, everything from your refrigerator to your uh, personal devices might all have that capability. Now, one of the core concepts of uh, this is that there are very two important things. One is you, because these sensors are capturing information in the environments that they're in, privacy of data and making sure that the data is secured and protected is very important. The also the very other important is because this will be a massive, massive amount of data, you want to try to minimize the amount of movement of data and try to create an environment where the information is shared with the least uh, network traffic. So Denodo, by its very nature, in the enterprise world, is all about what we call connect, don't collect, which means connect to applications and create and push down the processing to the endpoints, even in the enterprise context of databases, applications, etc. instead of moving all the data up through the stream and then to uh, whatever the consumption layer is. So with that same concept, when you spread it into edge computing, what this means is you have various nodes of uh, data on the edges and as much as possible the data is collected in those nodes and then processed locally and only the aggregate and important or uh, alerting information is moved through the network and then further connected with enterprise applications as well as other cloud applications etc to create whether it's business intelligence or actionable insight or operational uh, decision making. So let me give you a couple of examples where <coughs> this can happen. And now with the exciting development of Denodo, with the ability to interact with uh, messaging technologies like Kafka, being able to be geospatially oriented, etc., Denodo has the ability to not only have a very, a, a very robust enterprise or cloud in deployment of the data virtualization concept, which is a semantic layer of information, but it can distribute the semantic layer across the nodes by embedding Denodo into edge applications, which could then be placed in a big container ship, it could be placed in a train, it could be placed in an aircraft, it could be placed in a hospital, so on and so forth. So now what happens is the sensors of various types that are collecting data, let's say in the context of a hospital, can be coming into the edge node and then you have a network of hospitals that can share this information. So we now have the outbreak of the coronavirus. So by monitoring, for example, what's happening, the incoming patients, etc., in multiple places, we might be able to get a better handle of the spread of the virus. Maybe even sensors in the airports as people are passing through the security and health checks. So when you think about scenarios like this, how you efficiently gather on the edges the, uh, the data, secure them at the edges um, through uh, <laughs> encryption, move them through messaging technologies like Kafka or over the, over the uh, air through telco networks, etc., and then bring them into a common understanding is very critical. I could give you many examples of what this is happening. In a previous blog, I mentioned this heavy equipment manufacturer. Now they have more than 25 sensors in each one of their earth moving equipment. And every five seconds, they are sending signals of the operation of the equipment and the amount of weight it's moving, etc. All that data is being collected to predict the failure of parts and machines and to predictive maintenance as well as maximize asset utilization. In the hospital, I mentioned another example in a previous blog. Again, if people are wearing sensors, let's say you have a, a kidney problem, we have a kidney dialysis customer that can use that technology to send alerts, combine that with a single view of the patient from the hospital and clinical records, and then use artificial intelligence to predict if that patient is having an episode that's life-threatening based on that can send an alert and then bring the patient to the dialysis clinic to have treatment. 
So there are many other examples like this where we are exploring with our partners and customers of embedding Denodo in edge devices. It could be a Raspberry Pi device, it could be a local cloud computing device, etc. And then we bring all of that information together into this common semantic layer. If you would like to learn more about uh, Denodo and its applications in edge computing, please visit our website. There are many case studies there or reach out to one of our solution architects as it's an emerging area and we'd love to have a discussion with you on how Denodo can help. Thank you very much.